Hey everyone, Christopher Ludwig wrapping up here in Munich, Automotive Logistics and Supply Chain Digital Strategies, the first event that we've held dedicated to digitalization and leveraging data uh, in the supply chain and, and what a success it's been. I think you can see it right around me, literally, as everyone is networking and exchanging information uh, about how to work better across the supply chain, how to scale the opportunities that we see in things like AI, uh, in things like predictive analytics. Um, at this event, we've really established some of the core foundations to do that. A lot of it comes, for example, in how we effectively exchange uh, data in a safe and secure way. We heard from Frank Gouda uh, from Volkswagen Group, for example, how Volkswagen started on a journey of an industrial cloud focused mainly on its own plants, uh, on its own suppliers, and realized that was too small. That was thinking too small. The second or first largest OEM in the whole world, but it was too small. It needs to integrate the entire supply chain, not just the tier ones, but also upstream. And how do you do that? Well, that should be in the network of networks and, and, and using protocols where people can exchange and share data. That's the Container X project uh, in this case, and that's a great example of how hopefully more of the supply chain can exchange data in an effective way, and we've seen a lot of progress in this area. At the same time, OEMs need to adapt their own IT and digital architectures to, to leverage all the information in the supply chain, to deliver on the microservices and apps and innovation that we see right on the shop floor into the supply chain. And that's why BMW, for example, as we heard from Michael Ströbel, uh, has just launched its Oxford mini plant into the cloud, the first plant of a journey that will eventually include all of them. And that includes logistics, customs, finance, accounting, all, all at once. It, it sets a, a basis for standardization, and it also allows, hopefully, for more innovation in a, in a strategic uh, aspect with proper data governance, proper standards around it. But it's a long journey. Anyone who's gone through that sort of implementation can tell you about what it really takes and, and we've also seen similar from JLR which is in the midst of a massive transformation from its architecture and, and an end-to-end -end perspective. Paulina Schmirez who, who leads digital, digital innovation across uh, production supply chain and purchasing for example uh, talked about end-to-end uh, -end from the left that means starting with engineering not just from the customer order through delivery but the engineering and the product creation how we capture that data into the bill of materials manage changes uh, not only through the, the value chain but through the life cycle through to production through to sales through to aftermarket recycling and circularity for example uh, it's quite a cultural shift as well as a technical one but it's one that we heard many OEMs and tier ones on the journey to do some like ZF seem to have taken quite far steps ahead. René Dice, the CDO, talked about the, the ZF Cloud, which has set the standard across so much of its production network and really enabling generative AI to, to start to scale uh, in, in plants and eventually in the supply chain. Um, but of course, it's not a one step, it's not a one hit wonder, it, it's a long step in a journey. Other OEMs like Volvo, as we heard from Peter Jan Landjut, may be at the earliest start of the journey, but they're really looking to accelerate it and have a fascinating architecture and collaborative model that they're working on uh, with their logistics providers uh, as well as suppliers. Uh, so those are just some of the things we heard about and so, so much more, uh, which started yesterday with our digital twin and metaverse workshop, uh, continued through a full day of presentations, panels today, and as you see around me, perhaps most importantly, the industry networking, sharing an exchange that really enables all this to go to the next level, uh, whether it's uh, during the lunches, coffee, or our, or our welcome, or our get-together reception at the end of the event, where we really look ahead, celebrate our success, but look ahead. And there's a lot to look ahead to. Not only the Automotive Logistics and Supply Chain uh, Europe next year in Bonn, uh, this event will return to Munich at the end of 2024, and we, we hope to share a lot more success, but we're also going to North America. Digital strategies will move to North America next year and we're very excited to be developing the program and look forward to sharing that with all of you. So again, thanks for following us along here on, on LinkedIn and on our website, uh, our highlight videos, our, our red sofa VIP interviews, uh, highlights from across the event. Uh, there's still a lot more to come, so we'll be sharing this in the weeks ahead too on our website so you can pick up a lot more of the information you lost and you, didn't, you, you might have missed. And importantly, you can find out how you can get involved in, in future events and content from our side. So I'm going to sign off here from Munich. It's been a pleasure sharing this journey with you. It's a long one still to come, but a lot of progress in between. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.